Well, hey there, Sagittarius. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius for the week of May 2nd. If this one really isn't resonating so much, Sag, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, especially your Moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You may want to do this anyway, since there could be messages there for you. If you are involved with a Sagittarius, keep in mind that the energies here could be reversed for you. If you would like your own private reading, you can find all of my information down below in the description box. My least expensive is $20 for a quick reading. I have a $50 reading that's a lot like the ones I post here on YouTube. It's a deep dive into a relationship or a situation. If you really have something complicated going on, I have a 10 question $75 reading. All right, Sagittarius, we're looking at the overall energy here. I'm also going to pull cards for your person. I'll clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Um, please like and subscribe for me. I post weekly. If you would like the extended reading, click the join button down below. Uh, for 10 bucks, you get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. So what I think is happening here, Sag, is you are getting communication from somebody. We have the eight of wands, it's movement, it's momentum, it's messages. And I do think this is a situation that you've been indecisive about or your person has been indecisive about. You can see the two of swords there. She's at the crossroads trying to figure out where she wants to go. Maybe your person has been, I don't know, going back and forth and being a little bit wishy-washy. Maybe you're trying to decide what to do here. Like, do you let it go? Do you continue to, you know, pursue this or hope that something happens here? But from what I understand, like, this person isn't in contact with you, or if they are, it's kind of on again, off again. We've got the Knight of Swords in reverse, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. You could be dealing with an air sign here. And, all right, the Knight of Swords is very... Uh, knee-jerk kind of a reaction sort of a card. Very impulsive. We have wait, don't rush into it, allow nature to take its course. So this person or you in the past has been very impulsive. They could be in and out of this relationship because it is a night. If this person isn't an air sign, they probably have air in their chart or they're behaving this way. And here we have Mr. Smoothie as well, the Knight of Cups. That is Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. It's someone who's being very loving, very charming. That's the Romeo or Juliet of the, the deck. Someone kind of sweet talking you a little bit, maybe apologizing here. Now, we have power. You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. I wonder if you're on the fence here about whether or not you should move forward with this or whether you should even talk to the person or where this is going. I feel a lot of indecision here and I feel a lot of like confusion basically in this reading. So let's go ahead and check out your person and see what's going on. Okay, here's what we have so far, Sagittarius. Uh, I'm also going to clarify this with the Tarot of Mystic Mondays. This is the Good Karma Tarot that I have on the table. You can find links to both of those down below since I get questions about cards all the time. I feel like this person has been thinking about you quite a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot. We've got the Hermit here, Virgo energy. Uh, being in Hermit mode, so I doubt you've been in communication with this person. We've also got the Four of Swords, which can be like a break in a relationship. Uh, not necessarily a breakup, but more of a break. You'll notice, though, it's in the reverse position. So this person's been a little bit restless. They're tired of not talking to you. With the five of coins here, they miss you. Now, they may have been the one that walked away here. That doesn't mean the person can't miss you. Five of coins is also a sense of, like, lack, loss, being left in the cold. For some of you, you may have stopped talking to this person altogether, and that's why they're feeling this way. Nine of Swords is someone way up in their head. You can see like her thoughts are troubled. Uh, she's sort of wincing and covering her eyes. I wonder if they're trying to figure out like what to do here or what they want or where this is going. We've got a new perspective with the Hanged Woman upside down. That's Pisces energy. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Seeing things a little bit differently. Um, it's also like a pause or a stagnation here. 
if this is your reading, things have been kind of off between the two of you. Things have been stuck. They're not moving forward. And we've got the Seven of Cups here. It's confusion. Sometimes it's illusions or delusions. I wonder if this person is maybe fantasizing about you or is trying to decide what the heck they want so that they can make an actual decision here. A lot of indecision. All right, let's clarify it and we'll see what comes out. I hate when I throw cards in the floor. All right. Tell me about Sagittarius's person. Okay. We've got the Princess of Pentacles here, and we've got the Three of Wands. So, Three of Wands is waiting for your ships to come in, it's manifesting something. This may be a long distance relationship. This person could have been waiting to hear from you, waiting to see if you would reach out. The Page of Pentacles or the Princess of Pentacles here, someone wanting to make an offer to you, wanting to give you something here. Their time, their energy, their effort. I don't think that they're done here. And I do think they're about to reach out, probably because there hasn't been, yeah. We've got the Temperance card. There's your energy. There. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. You can see like that board is balanced between those set of spheres. This is someone wanting to balance the relationship. They've probably been thinking about you nearly full time here. You're on their mind quite a lot. I do think they're wanting to fix this. about Sagittarius's person. All right, we have the two of cups here. This person feels like you are their person here. The two of cups is two people who are in a relationship together. They want the same things. Um, they're on the same page. We've got the three of swords in reverse, which is them wanting to like end the heartbreak and the heartache here, fix the relationship. Essentially, they're hoping for a reconciliation here. They're hoping to fix this. And we've got the princess of swords here. Princess of swords is page of swords. So that is more Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, lots of swords here. Uh, you could be dealing with an air sign. Page of Swords is also someone watching you, watching you on social media, driving past your house, asking friends about you, or it's just somebody thinking about you quite a lot. Swords are thought energy. So inevitably, there'll be someone down in the comments who'll be like, I don't even have social media. Well, the person can still think about you. So chill. I do think that this person is kind of obsessing a little bit. I think they're probably, to me, this feels like rumination, like I'm playing my greatest hits here. And by hits, I mean, you know, the dumb stuff I did. Maybe they were indecisive in the past. They didn't know what they wanted. I do think that they've gotten a new perspective on this. So uh, I am going to pull a card from the extended reading for you, and we'll find out how this person feels about you. So how does this person feel about Sagittarius? How does this person feel about Sagittarius? Well, we've got the lovers. The lovers is Gemini energy. This person might be a Gemini. It's feeling like you're a soulmate. It's feeling like you're their person. It's making a heart overhead decision. And I do feel like this person for the most part is more of a head over heart kind of a person. Tending to follow their logic or trying to intellectualize their way out of issues. And I don't think that's working in this particular situation. They've got the feels for you pretty bad. And I do think that this person is going to make you an offer of some sort. I think... Almost it's like they've been trying to talk themselves out of it is what it feels like. And they just can't because their heart's involved here. 
Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want the rest of the extended, click the join button down below. It won't always show up on your iPhone. You will need to be on a desktop to order it for the first time. Uh, please like and subscribe. I post weekly on YouTube. If you would like to order your own reading, you can find those details down below and bless it be.